Hi everybody, Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Disney's Sorcerer's Arena. Um, I have never played this game, it's a mobile game. I am playing on PC using Bluestacks, and if you'd like to play on PC using Bluestacks as well, just click the link in the description below and download it for free, and it does help the channel. And then you get to do what I'm about to do, which is tap to unlock the magic. And who doesn't want to unlock the magic, right? So this is like a hilarious rip on the Hearthstone um, entry point where you open the chest in Hearthstone by spinning the dial. And then even the blockiness of these graphics appears to be something similar to that. But I don't think this is a card game. I don't, I'll have to see what this is. The Master of Sorcerer has been searching for powerful summoners you have taken your first step in providing your worth welcome to sorcerer's arena it's time for your first challenge okay and it's ariel and mickey fighting some dudes characters have multiple abilities to choose from cast sorcerer mickey sorcerer apprentice mickey's basic ability okay bam and ariel's basic ability boop Man, she's got her, uh, her dad's trident. She's just going at it. When you're attacked, your health will decrease. Use Ariel's healing ability to keep your allies from being defeated, all right? Let's heal us up. Wow, that's a good heal there. Use this special ability to target all of the remaining enemies, okay? Whoa, sorcerer. Mickey, your magic. Okay, so... Um, it started like Hearthstone, but this looks like it's going to be a turn-based, party-driven, character collector RPG, which is great. Um, it's modeled, I got three stars, I'm getting different types of currency, and it's cel-shaded, which is interesting. Winning battles is key to becoming the next Master Sorcerer. Okay, your rewards can be exchanged for powerful characters in the store. All right. Okay. Um, let's do an ultimate chest. Yeah, that sounds good. And, oh, magic going on. What is this? Oh, my God. It's John Goodman. We got him. Fantastic. All right, so we got a new dude. And we got Sully. Okay, you received enough character tokens to unlock Sully. Voiced by John Goodman. All right, and um, he is a hero downtown. I guess that's his area. And let's unlock him. And, oh, yep. Okay. He's got six slots of gear tier with four abilities. So this is, like, very much, you know, Marvel Strike Force. Any of the, the popular character collectors, except with Disney characters to collect. And it it's important to just remember, there was this cool guy, I can't remember what his name is, but he plays mobile games all the time, and I like, I like to watch him on YouTube. And he always said that character collectors are as good as the characters in the game, and that's very important. Like, if you don't care about the characters that you're collecting, the game's going to have to be exceptional to pull you in. But... Or something like Marvel, I love Marvel, so I'm going to play. Or Disney, I like Disney, so I'm interested in the characters. There's a whole backstory with Sully. So, you know, movies to go with Ariel and Belle and whoever, right? So that makes it exciting. Um, we're going to take Sully into battle. Grand Campaign is where the, all the new summoners begin their journey, okay? We'll go with this, this place. It looks like we can fight Shere Khan, a hyena, and a monkey with an Elvis pompadour hairstyle. All right, fine. Now we got a big team, and it's going to take us eight energy to battle, and we have 61. Yep. Here we go. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, the game looks really good for a mobile game. They definitely spent some cash. All right, can I do this right now? 
deal 48 damage to all opponents. Now, I don't know what the little four in the upper left corner of this ability is, but I'm going to do it anyway. Maybe that means to cool down. Maybe I have to wait four turns before I can do it again. Tip, you can tap and hold an ability icon to get more information, right? Um, so this is his taunt. So, yep, as I figured, um, Sully is going to be our tank. So we use this and... Oh, it does damage and it taunts? That's pretty sick. And here's Shere Khan. Sully has gained taunt. Enemies will be forced to attack Sully, protecting the rest of your team. Great. Um, so... Let's try to take down Shere Khan, I guess. Uh, doesn't do very much there, Ariel. Claude the... Oh, we gotta take down the healer. He's like fanning off Shere, Clan, uh, Shere Khan. Tap on their support character to target them. Eliminate the support to stop them from healing Shere Khan. Yes, 100%. Let's do that. Boop. And then punch him. Nice punch. Oh. So Sully's taunt is gone. He's stealth, which means I can't target him. Uh, but we'll just finish off the support, dude. Got him. And now we can hit Shere Khan, even though he is stealth. And just punch him. Oh, he came through the grass and hit Sully pretty hard. Boom. Now, we could heal, but um, I'm assuming the yellow bar below the blue bar, which is their health, is their uh, action points because Ariel's is full, which means she gets to act. And so, judging by this and this, it looks like Sully has a slight edge, and if Ariel doesn't kill Shere Khan, then Sully will get to hit, so we don't need to heal. But she got him anyway. Smoked him. Nice job, Ariel. Alright, you have reached the next level. And so we got some 20 extra energy. Our max energy increased. And our max grand energy increased. Okay. And we get a whole bunch of rewards. We get money. Green potion. And then when it says first over these rewards, generally in games like this, it means like the first time you complete this level, you get these. And then on subsequent attempts, you do not. Uh, you get like a mixture of these. Your player level has increased. New game modes and features will unlock as you level up. Okay. Um, collection. Uh, I guess we're going to click on Mickey. Here's our people. And we can level them up. And it's going to take... Okay, so the green potion is experience. And... Yeah, do it. So Mickey gets a little stronger. Leveling up increases power, which makes your characters do more damage to enemies. Okay, so power is the damage stat. And then complete daily quests to earn valuable rewards. A magical reward awaits if we complete six grand campaign battles. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Um, and then we can battle uh, to fight these dudes if we wish. Um, and I can't do anything but this right now. It's a tutorial. I was going to go level up the rest of my people and such, but it must not be necessary. Let's take them down. Okay. Oh, little alligator guys with ponchos and axes. Alright, so Sorcerer Mickey is insane because he can just start the battle with that AoE attack. That's fantastic. And then this just preposterously does damage and taunts. So it's an insane combo. Um, Alright, so let's take out the DPS guys in the back if we can. Sully has taunt for one turn. Um, ooh. He's getting hurt a little bit. Let's focus fire on this bowman. Now, this guy has taunted, so that's, you know, a shame. Um, so we have to hit taunt man. And we have to hit here. Oh, Mickey. You're so fine. Um, we don't need to heal just yet. Her attack. Oh, she actually did a reasonable amount of damage. Ooh. You hate to see that. Now, luckily, the enemies are diversifying and spreading out. His taunt wore off. The taunts wore off uh, rather quickly in this. Only one round. 
That took me by surprise how fast that wore off. Let's just take this guy down then. Um, and then Ariel, you can heal now. Looks like it's like, a, you know, pulsing heal. That's great. And then bam. Boop. Oh man, he just barely survived. Get him. King Trident's... King Triton's Trident just zapping you in the chest there. Alright, we got it. Bing. Perfect. New spell. Magical Meteor. Okay. You've earned enough tokens to unlock your first spell. Um, okay. Deal up to 50 damage, plus 12 per player level, to all opponents. Oh, so I guess I must have abilities I can use independent of my team. That's cool. The Magical Meteor spell deals devastating damage and can turn the tide of battle. So I have like a superpower. So that's a unique twist on a lot of these games. Um, so this is a boss fight. It has the skull. It's elite. Um, and I gotta fight this dude here. And we're not getting to go level up. We just part of the tutorial. We just do this. So we'll take it. Now you could make arguments to save the AoEs for later in the wave. Let's see how many enemies they give us to start with. One. Just this guy. Um, you have unlocked a magical meteor spell. Spells charge up during battle and can be used for devastating effects. Okay. So, um, we're just going to single target this guy and save our taunt and save everything else for later. It looks like there's one of three um, turns here. Uh, resume, okay? And he's taunting, which, good for you. Bam, wrecked him. Alright, so now here's a bunch of enemies. And now we can use the magical meteor, and we will. And yep, that is a magical meteor that just wasted them. And Sean Yu is here. All right, so I wish I had Mulan on my squad. I don't, but I can AoE. And then um, let's just target this dude. And Sully can taunt. I mean, eventually. Oh, oh, Mickey. Say it ain't so, dude. There we go. Man, Sully is just unreal. And finish off this guy in the back. And then uh, we need to heal pretty badly here. Wow, he had an AoE attack of his own. Give him the Meteor. Crunch. Hit him. Bam. Man, this guy is really strong. Oh, Mickey. Finish him, Mickey. Woof. Got him. I'm telling you, that was close. I got some new currency types. That's cool. You've earned an enchanted gear piece. Jackpot. Collection. Um, hit up Mickey. And the plus on the character means you have an enchanted gear piece available to equip. And this is called a gear. Increase combat powers to unlock new abilities. Collect gear by completing quests and battles. Upon reaching player level 5, this area will aid you in finding gear locations. Okay? And it's the fire mode, and it's going to increase his offense by 10. So, I mean, that's pretty significant. That's a 20% raise. So let's just equip it. And then go back. Sorcerer Apprentice Mickey has permanently gained additional stats. Take him into the next battle. Well, you know that I will. All right, we're going to battle. See how this goes. I have to say, the presentation on this game is great. The battlefields look amazing. The cell shaded characters look really good. Um, the effects, pretty good so far. Uh, we are not going to taunt. We're just going to fight. Now 
now a ton. This next wave of jerks. Um, wow. Hit him. Needed that. Um, let's see. This guy. So, one thing you always want to do in games like this is... You know, I could kill this guy, obviously, but this dude, you can see his yellow bar is almost full, which means he's about to act next. And so if we take him down, he won't get to do anything, and then Ariel will get Ariel will just get to go. Um, and we will... Healing Sully is really smart, um, but at the same time, he's the only one that's hurt, and we probably prevent more damage by just killing that DPS guy, and then Sully's going to kill this guy, so... No sense healing. Let's just finish the battle quickly. Great. All right. Three stars, everybody. Continue. Unlock new abilities by equipping all enchantments on a character. Oh, okay. So she's got... She can equip everything. So go here. And then we just click equip all. And she's ready to get tiered up. Which... Terrific cheer her up and she got a new ability which was electrical current oh man if that hits everybody then she just became like a complete boss level her up yeah level her up all the way there you go and then um can we go to our next character uh now well, i kind of want to check out um Sully. Where is Sully? If I go back, um, Area's new, new ability is a powerful electric current. Enter the next battle to try it out. Oh, okay. They just don't want you to. They're just um, very, very patiently guiding you through the game, which is fine. It's a tutorial, after all. They're gating some of the content to help not overwhelm you as a new player, and that makes sense. All right. You baddies. Um, there's two waves, so I'm not going to use Mickey's AoE. I'm going to save it. Because I figure they might make me use Ariel's ability. Um, Alright, so it is single target. It says... Oh, but it, it's like a snipe shot. It does a bajillion damage. The gold bar is a speed meter. When it reaches full capacity, that character will be the next up to attack. Exactly. See which character is up next by expanding the turn order. Oh, this is really handy. So you don't actually even have to necessarily look at the bars. You can just know for sure. Because uh, sometimes it's hard to tell. All right, so we get to go. So he's not going to get to go for a while. So that's great. Bam. Bam. Bust him up, Ariel. Oh, we needed that crit. That's That'll do. All right, now we can do AoE all day long, and then taunt. Um, oh, no. That was a big crit. Jeez. He hit him hard, too. All right, so we want to, like... Um, this is the one that we want to target. Now, it's a shame that it doesn't tell you down here which one of these two will be the next one you can figure it out by looking at the yellow bar um, but it would be kind of cool if you could like click on it and then target that one or just have some indication which one um, but anyway we'll just use this and we've won we are the supreme force you've earned enough character tokens to unlock captain hook oh Captain Hook's going to be on our side, huh? Well, use the character tokens you earned from the previous battle to unlock Captain Hook. I guess, if we have to, we could use him. This dastardly Captain Hook. He's a fearsome foe. Let's level him up, then. And, yeah, give him some gear. Alright, and we can go back... Captain Hook is an offense character. Enter the next battle to defeat Davy Jones. Well, we gotta beat Davy Jones. Um, let's do it. Defeat Davy Jones to unlock the end of stage prize chest. Yes, let's do that. Oh, I see it. It's right there. Okay. 
Now we have four people in the party. That's cool. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, so we got three waves. Let's get them. Um, so he can do a gift from Wendy to deal 115 damage to the opponent. Um, and if they have shield, it makes it do even more damage. Let's hit him with this. Oh, God. That worked out well. Just blew that guy up. The gift from Wendy was something really special. Yeah, hit him with this. Bam. Ariel blasted that dude into oblivion. All right. Uh... Ah, uh, we could just use this now. Might as well. Uh oh. Mickey. Wow. Mickey? Uh, Ariel, are you gonna get to go here? Yeah, she's next. Alright, we gotta heal. Mickey's almost gone. Alright, take him down. And here comes Davy Jones. There he is. Oh, my. All right, we need this to go, but this this is really helpful, so we'll taunt. Wow. Holy cannoli. That was painful. Um, so, one of these guys is going next. Maybe this one. I don't know. I'm just going to shoot it. All right. Luckily, they don't do as much damage, and then we can just use this. Once, once they're done... Yeah, here we go drop that. Alright, so, so some of them are dead. And then uh, I think we should throw a gift from Wendy at uh, the baddie here. Can you do that? At Davy Jones' face. And then this one is going to get to go... No, this one is. So um, try to kill it, Ariel. Nice. Here he comes. Please don't kill. Alright, shoo. Uh, Alright. So we have a lot of turns, so just finish off this dude. And then blast Davy Jones. Hit him with the sword. Ariel, you got your big shoot back yet? Nope, not yet. One more turn. Oh no, Mickey. They hate Mickey. Alright, it's over. Get him, Mickey. Yeah, use your big water ability on this fool. He's from the water, but somehow... Ooh, look at all those treasure chests back there. Get those. You have reached the next level. We got level three. Uh, we got a new event, and we got some energy. And we get all this stuff, too. Why not? The Master Sorcerer is pleased with your progress in the game grand campaign. There are fantastic prizes at the end of each stage. Okay, claim your reward. Claim it. What do we get now? Um, oh, okay. Wow, we get 5,000 level up potions. That is ridiculous. A whole bunch of money. Oh, Tinkerbell shards. Okay. And, um, is that... It's not Hercules. It's like one of his buddies, I think. And then, oh, Jasmine with... Um, her tiger. Sweet. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Reaching level three has unlocked events. You're well prepared for the diamond in the rough event. Oh, for Aladdin? Awesome. Um, okay. And we can click on this to start the event. Uh, and we have our daily quests that we have done. Uh, boop -ba -doop -ba -doop. Oh, look, there's Rapunzel. Nice. Well, everybody, I think this is a great look at the game. We've completed effectively most of the tutorial. Um, you know, they might want us to do a little bit more, but I'm satisfied with uh, finishing all of this stuff here. To, at least for me to just get a sense of what this game is all about. And I have to say, I think it's actually kind of cool so far. It does have some unique twists on the character collecting uh, RPG format. And I want to see if it holds up over time.
I want to thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an excellent evening or day. And in the comments below, if you're interested, if you've played this game before, please let me know. Is it good? Does it, does it keep staying good? Uh, what do you think about this game? 